Hi Aries, welcome to your Week Ahead Taroscope with me, Raphael, from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and if you should so choose and it resonates, hit that subscribe button. If you are already a continued subby, you know I love you for it. Um, don't forget to check out my Kickstarter if you would like to get yourself a, a reading at an amazing price, or if you would like to uh, study tarot in the new year with myself, you can hit the link in the description box below and find that. And uh, last but not least, remember there is the Loving Lunar series where we're following the moon, we're talking about uh, the astrology of where the moon is at that moment in time and what it will pass uh, and how it will pass through the sign and we're also talking about tarot but we're reading from the ascendant so these tarot scopes are general tarot scopes where we're looking at your sun moon or rising sign uh, whereas the lunar series that is specifically for your ascendant all right so before we start as always I would like to bless my deck of cards with all forms of love light peace, prosperity and abundance and I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you all on your path to your highest vibrational good. So your key to the week, funnily enough, is the Hermit card. Uh, so if you find yourself feeling a little bit more withdrawn this week, if you find yourself being, um, uh, yeah, if you find yourself being a bit more uh, pensive as well, you know, you might find that this week you're kind of feeling a little bit more withdrawn and it's not because you don't want to spend time with people it's not because you're not feeling sociable it's because there are things that you're trying to figure out for the new year this is about you it's kind of like you jumping ahead already and you're making your preparations and your plans now and because this is your key to the week it basically says that there are going to be a lot of messages that come through to you this week so pay attention to your intuition take moments for yourself where you make yourself still enough for your intuition to speak and also uh, the hermit card can sometimes present us with a wise person or character maybe somebody comes into your life or somebody that's already there um, you know brings you some sort of knowledge or wisdom or maybe even some sort of um, they might be yeah they might bring you a tidbit of information that ends up being really important for you going forward so for your actions and uh, actions and options this week you have the five of swords okay so this may be one of the reasons that you kind of feel like withdrawing from the world um, it looks like communication is going to be a little bit terse this week and one of the things that seems to be coming up here um, you could be presented now for some of you this may be a parent for some of you this may be a family member um, it might be I mean I wouldn't go as far as to say it be a boss but it may very well be that somebody who it might be somebody that pat tries to patronize you it might be somebody that tries to uh, be condescending towards you and I kind of feel like this week that's really going to get your heckles up that five of swords suggests that you are probably going to want to launch out onto a terrain but you want to action this right so you're this would be a week to really think about what you say so find the energy within you to respond to something before you react to it all right for your communications and conversations you have the sun card but all is well right what i love about this is it gives you that powerful boost right it means that communications are going to be fairly easy this week but look at this right that kind of suggests that there's a bit of a there's a bit of an upstairs downstairs dynamic going on in the communications this week so if there's something that you absolutely know but somebody tries to convince you that you don't know what you're talking about or do you know what I mean I kind of feel like that's really going to get your goat this week so it's it's really important like I said find a way to respond to what is said to you before you um, before you speak on it and remember what I was saying to you earlier about somebody bringing you a tidbit of information or a really important key piece of information this is an absolute backup for that right it suggests that there is some communication coming in this week that is really going to um, it's going to make a lot of things make sense for you you know it might just be that thing that makes everything else kind of click into place for your money and materials you have the three of wands right so finances look good this week especially because it comes off of the five uh, uh, off of the sun card now it is underneath the five of swords which suggests that this week when it comes to money whatever discussions you are having about finances money resources um 
this would be a week to stick to your own plans you know whether you're partnered whether you're single whether you have a family whether you don't this would be a week where it's kind of like you already have an idea of where things are going and you're keeping everything ticking over really well um now what i can tell you as well is the three of wands tends to bring not always a windfall but coupled with the sun card it definitely could so this could be a great week put you know put your lotto ticket a ticket in maybe place a, a small bet something like that um, this could be a really powerful week for that but what it also suggests is that when it comes to the money or the finances you have a plan in mind to make your material experience better um, and this is a message to say basically stick to your plan right your the plan that you have in place is the right one for you certainly at this moment in time anyway uh, when it comes to your uh, physical health and vitality this would be, um, yeah, I mean, this is all in the mind, right? This is, in fact, this whole week, right? And that makes sense, you're an Aries. Um, this whole week is gonna have a lot to do with this and a lot to do with communication. You're gonna be very up in there. Um, what I will say to you, because you've got the Five of Swords above it, find, um, if you can't reconcile something with somebody or, uh, you know, if you find that you can't stop bickering with somebody, just pull yourself out. All right, pull yourself out of the situation and then go back to it when you're feeling a bit more settled. Um, and then when it comes to your home and environment, for a lot of you, um, you know, I know some of you have already moved, but for some of you, you could be gearing up for a move or this week you are making those final preparations. This is the week where you say, right, okay, you know what? Now that I have a handle on everything else, now I'm gonna pick my destination. I'm gonna decide where it is that I'm ready to be or where it is that um, is more suited to who I am. And for a select few of you, it looks like you're planning some sort of travel this week, which is great. Um, you know, something for the next for the next year or for the new year, let's say. For your love and relations, you have the Hierophant card. This is beautiful, and it's right underneath the love and relations, um, right? Obviously, uh, and it's right underneath the Sun card. So, for a select few of you, and this is specifically for those of you that have been in relationships for a long time, um, but aren't married. This could be about you literally deciding you know what we want to cement the bond now we want to commit uh you know maybe we want to get married or maybe we want to start a family this is um this is great news when it comes to those things for those of you that are single it looks like you are meeting somebody now the interesting thing is it suggests that these cards suggest that the person that you could be connecting with is older or more mature but they have a very young heart so do you know what I mean? It's like this person could, you know, could be, you know, in a position of power or maybe really stern when it comes to their job, but they're, you know, a giant kid when they're out of work. Um, it's that kind of energy and that's really nice, right? That's the perfect balance that you need. Remember this card is a card of traditional commitment. So for those of you that are single or maybe those of you that are newly seeing somebody, it may be that that person suggests to you this week, look, you know what, if you're not really willing to make it official, then I would like to, you know, maybe call it quits. So this is, uh, a, you know, it's a point for you where you're gonna have to decide what it is that you really want. Very, very interesting stuff. With that said, I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Have a fantastic week. Let me know in the comments how it shapes up. Take care and I'll see you soon.